In this take 5, we're going to look at how to use Hot Potato software to create SCORM learning objects which can be easily added to your Moodle course as activities. Let's look at a SCORM learning object created with Hot Potatoes. Now as you can see we've got our SCORM activity here and I'm just going to click on the name and show you what it looks like. So we've got a preview mode or normal mode, I'm just going to leave it on normal and click enter. And here is our drag and drop activity. So you can see the first example uh, goes across by itself to show the students what to do. And then we can complete the others. So we'll just pull them across here. And check our answers. And that's basically how we complete a SCORM activity for Mix and Match in Moodle. So what is Hot Potatoes? Hot Potatoes is a freeware software suite that includes six applications which enable you to create quizzes, create jumbled sentence activities, create crossword exercises, create matching exercises, create closed paragraph exercises and combine the above exercises into units. So why use SCORM activities? Because objective test items such as fill in the blanks, matching, labelling or multiple choice questions require students to recall, recognise terms, facts and concepts. Installing Hot Potatoes This freeware application is cross-platform and can be downloaded from the Hot Potatoes homepage at the URL shown on the screen. Instructions for installing Hot Potatoes can also be found on Moodle Help for Staff at the following URL. Now let's take a look at the Hot Potatoes interface. Now when you open the Hot Potatoes application, you'll see the following interface. And you'll notice that there are some potatoes and they each have a name on them. So this is how you access each of the applications within Hot Potatoes. So jQuiz is the quiz maker, jClose makes close activities, jCross makes crosswords, jMatch makes mix and match activities, and jMix makes jumbled sentence activities. And then finally we have the masher over here on the right and what it allows us to do is to combine uh, activities we've made with jClose or jMatch or the crosswords and make them into one big SCORM activity which we can add to our LMS. And to open one of the applications you simply click on its name and it will open the interface for that particular piece of software. Now we're going to look at creating a matching exercise with JMatch. So as you can see under the title field here, I've given this one a name and I've put a list of terms down the left hand side and their meanings down the right hand side. And in the first example here, I've checked the box and that will mean that that one is the example one to show the students what to do. So once we've put in our uh, terms, all we need to do is go to the file menu and go create SCORM package and create drag and drop SCORM package and we're going to save it to our desktop and I'm just going to call it test and so now we get the open zip file. I'm not going to worry about opening the zip file because I don't need to see it. And now our SCORM has been created on the desktop. Now we're going to look at adding SCORM activities to your Moodle course. These exercises can be easily integrated into the Moodle LMS as SCORM package activities. Let's see how. Now I'm in my Moodle course and the first thing I'm going to do is turn my editing on. 
and now I'm just going to scroll down and from the add an activity menu I'm going to choose SCORM package. Now once my edit window loads I'm going to give my SCORM a name so I'm just going to call it test and I'm going to give it a description. Then I'm going to choose my file. So I'm going to upload a file, I'm going to browse, I'm going to find my test zip so that's the file I exported from Hot Potatoes. So I'm going to go open and I'm going to choose to upload the file. And as you can see, it's come in here. So if you want to restrict the learning object to a certain period of time, you can click the enable boxes and change the dates in the fields. I'm just going to leave them. Now you want to choose how you want to display the package. So I'm going to leave it on current window. You could choose in a new window if you wished. And I'm going to leave these settings to default except for the display course structure in player. Because I don't need to see that because it's only one activity. So I'm going to go disabled. And under the grade settings, you can choose whether your activity um, is a graded activity. I'm going to make it a learning object. Now you can leave, I'm going to leave the a number of attempts as unlimited, but you could give them only one attempt or two attempts if you wished. Now I'm just going to keep scrolling down and I'm going to go save and return to my course. And if I scroll down, You'll see we have our swarm activity in Moodle. Thanks for watching.